In order to access the interactive ebook version of the FOSS Science Resources books on FOSSweb, you'll need to log in with your student account. Teachers can access the student books from their account, but this video will show access from a student account. Teachers should know that students using individual accounts will have access to all the ebook tools, whereas students using a common class account will not be able to highlight, underline, or leave sticky notes. All students will have access to audio and multimedia. To access the ebook, go to fossweb.com and type in the username and password given to you by your teacher. Find the module you're working on and click on the cover. Go to Media Library, expand the ebook link, and find the interactive ebook link. If you are on a tablet or mobile device, you can download the ebook app. Click on the interactive ebook app information link for instructions on installing the app. Once you've downloaded the app, log in using the same username and password you use to log into FOSSWeb. You'll see a list of FOSS Science Resources books, and you can download the one you want to use. Each book uses 200 to 400 megabytes of storage on your device. Once you've opened the interactive ebook, either in your browser or through the app, you'll probably want to navigate to the reading your teachers assigned to you. To see the table of contents, click on the button in the top left. Click on the caret to expand the section. Find the article you're reading and then click on it. You can also click on the button of a grid found at the bottom of the page in order to scroll through the pages. In order to see a one-page spread, click on the icon to the right of the grid to see one page at once. Click on it again to go back to the two-page spread. In the upper right, you'll find the zoom controls to make the page bigger or smaller. Here, you'll also find the search bar. You can do a keyword search to find an article or specific information in the science resources book. While reading the book, click on the speaker icon to hear the audio. Edison sees the light. The filament burns out. You can use the controls to stop, restart, or rewind the audio. If you see a film icon, click it to see a short video. If you see this B icon, click it to do an interactive activity. And finally, if you see the link icon, click it to go to a related multimedia on FOSSWeb. If you are using the app, the first time you tap the link icon, it will prompt you to log into FOSSWeb if you aren't already logged in. Going back to the controls in the upper left, you can use the highlight tool to highlight passages in the book. When selected, it will show a green circle around it. Use the cursor to highlight your passage. A toolbar will pop up, allowing you to pick the color of the highlight and to leave a note. To see the toolbar again, click anywhere on the highlighted passage. In the app, put your finger on a word and the highlight tool will pop up. Use the blue handles to select the text you want to highlight. The pen tool allows you to circle, draw, or underline in the book. After you are done using it, click the check mark to save. To erase what you've written, click on the erase icon. Then click on the line or drawing you wish to erase. Then click on the garbage can tool. You'll get a dialog confirming that you want to erase it. Click yes, and then click the check mark once you're done. In the app, Tap the pen icon to activate the tool. Tap the icon again to see the color options. To use the erase tool, tap the icon in the top bar, then tap the line you wish to erase. When you are done, tap the done button in the top right. The paper icon allows you to leave a sticky note on a page. Click on it and then click in the book where you want to leave the note. Type your note in the box. Click on the top bar if you want to make the note important. Once you're done, click Post. If you want to move it to a different location, click and drag it there. To see the notes and highlights you've left in a book, click on the My Data icon. You'll see a list of notes you've left and the page they are located on. Click on the note to see it on the page. To see the passages you highlighted, click on Highlights. Click on the text to go see the highlight in the book. Notes and highlights appear in chronological order, showing the most recent first. 
If you need more help using the FOSS eBooks, please visit our help pages or contact us using the form on our help page.